We try for a child as they say, and it just doesn't come. Five years have passed, 10 years have passed, 15 years have passed. Sometimes by a miracle, it comes 20 years later. I know of a case that did happen 18 years later by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even beyond, never lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Remember this. But there is a powerful lesson. It is common that this would hurt us. We are human beings. We want goodness. We want children. We don't realize children are from Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he knows it's not good for you, he won't give it to you. When he knows perhaps you might lose your child in a nasty accident at an early age and that might be very depressing for you, he says, I will do you a favor. I won't even give you the child in the first place and you'll be happy. Subhanallah. That's the gift of Allah. Your Jannah and your paradise is to be happy with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this narration, uh, it says that there came a time when shaitan got involved. After two or three miscarriages, shaitan says, look, if you involve me in this picture, then you will definitely not miscarry. So what was shaitan's comment? He says, you name the child after me. Astaghfirullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us forgiveness. So according to the narration, and as I said, some of the scholars have said it's a slightly weak narration, but the truth is we do fall for these type of things in desperation. When a person is desperate, they go to the Sangomas, they go to the witch doctors, they go to the fortune tellers out of desperation, not realizing that Muhammad says, Man ata arrafan aw kahinan fasaddaqahu bima akhbar, faqad kafara bima unzila ala Muhammad. Whoever goes to a fortune teller, someone who claims to know the unseen and believes them, they have disbelieved in what Muhammad brought. Be careful, my brothers and sisters. No matter how pious and religious people who claim to know the unseen appear, they are wrong. They are making a very big mistake. It's impossible. It was only Jibreel alayhi salam who used to come with revelation of the unseen to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam by virtue of which he knew that much of the unseen. Subhanallah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But for you and me and those around us, no Jibreel alayhi salam comes. It is guesswork. When someone tells you your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law, your mother-in-law has done magic on you, remember they are absolutely innocent, my brothers and sisters. No matter what type of signs they want to show you, these people are innocent. It is us who are guilty. We are actually minimizing, if not eradicating the chances of our entry into paradise. I'd rather bear sabr, believing that it was a test from Allah than to accuse an innocent person because of someone who might have appeared to be religious, who might have told us a name of a person when we know that Jibreel alayhi salam did not come to them. And we know that it's impossible for them to have known the unseen because Allamul Ghuyub, the knower of the unseen is only Allah, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. Remember this, my brothers and sisters, when shaitan got involved and he said, name the child after me, it is reported that then the child held and the child was born. And it was a test from Allah. They repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because obviously it was something that was unacceptable. The repentance came immediately. But the lesson is for us all. Listen to these verses 189 to 191 of Surah Al-A'raf. And I'd like to make mention of the last part of the verse. Allah says, فَلَمَّا آتَاهُمَا صَالِحًا جَعَلَا لَهُ شُرَكَاءَ فِي مَا آتَاهُمَا فَتَعَالَ اللَّهُ عَمَّا يُشْرِكُونَ You know when people want children, Allah says, they call out to Allah. They call out to Allah and they say, Oh Allah, if you bless us with a beautiful child, we will be from amongst the truly thankful. We will thank you. You know, we read a lot of salah when we have problem, we engage in tahajjud, we cry, we give out sadaqah and charity. We become good people, pious people. Once what we want has come, we forget everything. It's gone. Like the child is now born. We don't even know. The first thing playing in the ears of the child, music, Allahu Akbar, instead of the adhan, perhaps. The first thing that, that, that we buy for the child, dirty toys, toys that are full of satanic lyrics and so on. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. It's becoming more and more difficult even to buy proper clothing for children today. May Allah help us dress our girls and boys in the best possible manner so that we as parents are not held responsible on the day of judgment for something the child may have done in terms of an error. May Allah help us all.